hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to start a new topic and the name of the topic is materials science and engineering now this subject material science and engineering it is one of the most important uh, subjects which has close connection with all the other departments or fields of engineering okay be it electrical electronics engineering instrumentation engineering be it mechanical engineering civil engineering aerospace engineering name it it has connection with it it is because all the fields of engineering okay the design aspects okay those the the the, the various uh, materials that are required for the design aspects the construction of the various uh, uh, components the various parts that is dealt by materials science and engineering okay so uh, this uh, the discussion which we are going to have it will be about the basic concepts the basic aspects of material science engineering and the application will be from mostly from the point of view of uh, electrical and electronics engineering and instrumentation engineering but the overall concepts the basic concepts of the subject will it will be common for all the branches but the application that will be from the point of view of electrical electronics instrumentation uh, engineering okay so we are going to start this uh, uh, topic so first we will see what is the definition or what is material science and engineering so it is the study of the properties of materials their internal structure composition and after conducting the study on these things determining how to put them to use okay the application of these materials in various engineering applications that is the main objective of material science and engineering okay to study the properties of materials their internal structure and their application now this subject is uh, a combination an amalgamation of three different fields okay three different subjects first solid state physics then metallurgy and third chemistry okay it is the meeting point of these three disciplines so this is the basic definition of material science and engineering now why it is important to study uh, the engineering materials and what is the uh, overall layout of this subject that we are going, uh, going to cover in the uh, first few videos related to this subject what is what are we going to discuss okay so the study of engineering materials it can be divided into these steps these broad categories okay first we have to classify them divide them into different categories okay it can be on the basis of their properties their application but first we have to classify them first step is the classification of engineering materials second is studying their internal structure the composition this is where the chemistry portion comes into play then we have to study the properties of these materials the various properties physical chemical uh, electrical thermal properties so we have to study them and then on the basis of the application the suitability for a particular application considering all the various things such as the composition the structure and the properties we have to select a particular material so this is the 
broad categories in which the, the the material science and engineering subject can be divided so first the classification of engineering materials now broadly we can classify the various uh, materials that are put into engineering applications into these categories okay so first we have metals then ceramics polymers composites semiconductors biomaterials nonlinear materials nanomaterials and advanced materials now there can be other categories as well but mostly the materials that are used in engineering applications it 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 belongs to one of these sections one of these categories okay now we are going to discuss each of these separate categories in detail now each of these categories will take around 10 to 15 videos only to uh, to get a hold of the basic idea what it is each of these categories is a separate field in itself okay metal ceramics polymers it is a separate we can write a we can write many books on each of these fields so we will try to uh, discuss them somehow uh, try to uh, cover up them so this is the classification of the engineering materials then the internal structure of the materials so here the various types of uh, things come into play such as the study of the macrostructure, the microstructure, the substructure, the crystal structure, the electronic structure, the nuclear structure. So we are also going to discuss each of them in detail in separate videos in future. So this is the internal structure of materials. So the objective of this video is to give you an idea okay, of what we are going to discuss in this whole subject of material science and engineering to give you the overall layout of this subject then the engineering properties the properties which we want to study in order to determine the suitability of the various materials for engineering applications so the various properties as i said it can be mechanical properties chemical properties electrical properties optical properties thermal properties, physical properties, magnetic properties and technological properties. Now I always said that instrumentation engineering it is one of the uh, fields of engineering which has close links with all the other uh, areas or fields of engineering. Here it is not only about electrical or electronics particularly the uh, the field of sensors transducers and instrumentation that field it has links with all the other uh, departments for example we just not we, we don't only deal with electrical signals we deal with mechanical type signals for example force pressure we can uh, we de also deal with optical signals for example light intensity we also deal with various uh, chemical based uh, uh, aspects such as concentration of various chemicals, the partial pressure, all of these things. Then we also deal with the thermal properties, okay, specific heat um, and all the other things. So we got to have idea about the various uh, aspects, okay, the various ways in which a device can be designed in order to give an output in whichever form it is desired whether it is mechanical chemical electrical but mostly the output should be electrical because for the to, for the output to be displayed in a digital way which most of the most of the devices today are for that we have to convert whichever signal it is be it mechanical chemical physical optical we have to convert it into electrical form so for that we have to we should understand the basic idea of the app the the working principle of all the devices so these are the various properties of the materials that we have to study then is uh, the selection of the materials for a particular application how it is done the various uh, 
different steps that are involved first for a particular application we have to determine what is our end objective what is it that we want okay the end product then on the basis of that we will try to figure out the various materials with matching properties okay for example let me give you an example suppose uh, we want to measure temperature okay the it is the job of the instrumentation engineers to design various types of devices suppose the instrumentation engineers they, they their objective is to measure temperature so for that they will carry out a uh, research related to the various types of materials available which have temperature sensing characteristics or which are sensitive to temperature now it is not the job of the instrumentation engineers to carry out a research on the materials it is the job of the material science engineers so the material science engineers they carry out a research they they study the properties of various materials that are available to them so they found out that there are various types of uh, metals which uh, have temperature sensitive characteristics for example for the fabrication of rtd resistance temperature detector we have already discussed that in the sensors and transducers section now in the fabrication of rtd which is used for the measurement of temperature platinum is a suitable choice okay platinum is used for the design of rtd now one of the most important reasons for selection of platinum is because it has first most important it has it is sensitive to temperature it exhibits a change in resistance with respect to change in temperature so it is the mat the material science engineers who determine this property of platinum okay so they figure out that okay platinum is sensitive to temperature and it responds to temperature with a change in its resistance so they inform about it to the uh, instrumentation engineers so now it is the job of the instrumentation engineers to put that platinum to design uh, a sensor with the help of that material that is platinum so that we can measure temperature in a good way the output is efficient so the various other steps such as uh, uh, sensing transduction signal conditioning signal processing and display it is the job of the instrumentation engineers okay so it is the job of the material science engineers to carry out research on various materials and uh, you know list down their properties it is the job of the other departments of engineering to study those properties and as per their requirements to select various types of materials so the first step is the matching the application requirements with material properties then it is uh, the second step is to assign various materials with matching properties okay for example uh, uh, rtd can be designed using platinum also in some cases it is designed using ceramics uh, also there is other choices for example thermocouple thermistor they are also used thermocouple copper constant and chromal constant and iron constant is used so various types of materials we it is uh, the second step is to uh, list out the various choices that they have and they have to select the best choice available to them depending on the various factors uh, such as cost considerations design aspects uh, then the availability of materials so all of that those things come into play so the second step is to assign or to list out the various choices that they have then they have to evaluate examine and analyze all of those choices and then the final selection comes into play okay to make the best possible choice from them as per the various factors so this is the uh, whole process of selection of materials for an engineering application now the various areas of application of material science and engineering 
So most importantly, uh, the electrical, electronics and instrumentation engineering, it is uh, an important area of material science and that is why it is very important to study this subject material science and engineering to get a good idea about the various uh, ways or the various uh, uh, you know the basic concepts behind all the design aspects of various uh, electrical and electronic instrumentation aspects that we study right now then uh, aerospace engineering telecommunication engineering energy conversion uh, information technology, biomedical engineering, defense, uh, research and development that is also an important application area of material science engineering. So it is a very uh, broad field and diverse field with many diverse applications. So as I said in, uh, in the beginning, it has close links with all the other fields of engineering. So this is the uh, very first video in which I wanted to give you an overall idea of what this whole subject is about. So in the upcoming videos, we are going to study about the various uh, uh, concepts related to this subject in detail. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.